Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I'm Clementine, and as always, I'm Super Saiyan, but never mind that. This is one 2010 Kawasaki Ninja 250R Special Edition. And in this video, we're gonna turn it into this. But really, if you saw the thumbnail and the title, you know why we're here. I'm gonna show you how I did it, why I did it, what I used, and the mods required to make it all jive. Then we'll do the first startup, show and tell a little bit about break-in, and take it for its first rip. If this sounds like something you might be interested in, stay tuned. First, let's talk a little bit about this bike. It's been beat the hell out of. And I got it super cheap because it don't run. I bought it under the pretense that it probably has a burned valve because it has low compression. But with only 3,033 miles, I figure if I can fix it, it'll be a good bike. So the first thing I did was to tear the tank and the plastics off and check the compression. Sure enough, it was like 40 and 60. So I put a cap full of motor oil in each spark plug hole and the compression jumped up to like 60 and 80. That tells me stuck rings. So I filled both the cylinders up with Marvel Mystery Oil for about a week and that got me up to 90 and 110. But it still wouldn't do more than spit and sputter and backfire. So I checked the valve lash and the timing. Only two of the valves were out of spec and not by much and the timing was dead on perfect. The next logical step is tear the head off. Now this is a quick side note. Besides for money, this is why I do my own mechanic work. I have cataloged all the valve lash and compression numbers for reference and I have every part and fastener placed in a way that they'll go exactly where they came from. I went into a reputable mechanic shop some years ago to get some work done and I witnessed a mechanic removing lifters and rockers from a car and putting them all in a bucket. I asked him why he was doing that and he said because they're all the same. I replied yes until you crank the car the first time. He said, who's the mechanic? So I left immediately and I've done all my mechanic work ever since. Well, anyway, this is what I found. Ain't that pretty. And look, the rings are stuck in the ring lands. The mystery oil did manage to unstick half of the top ring, but it just wasn't gonna do the trick. And look at this crispy critter piston here. I went ahead and pulled the jug, the rear fairings, and the air box. Here's cylinder one and cylinder two. Yummy. I then measured them to see how bad they actually got got and they were both square and undersized which is great. So next I ordered a set of Wiseco 12.5 compression standard size pistons with rings, wrist pins and circlips. Next I got the hone out and started putting it to them. This is the first pass, then the second, then to finish a slightly coarser stone was used to put a good cross hatch in there and what I'm doing here is setting my ring in gaps the final size I went with was 62.03 millimeters the extra three one hundredths of a millimeter is to allow the forged pistons to swell as they heat up here's one of the pistons with the rings installed and here I'm checking how they fit the bores then I removed the old pistons it's covered with rust and there's big chips gone from the edge I would say this is probably from running lean with water in the gas. And here are the Wiseco pistons installed on the rods. The stuff you see oozing out of the wrist pin is Lucas oil stabilizer. I always use Lucas as an assembly lube and it has given me great results. I know it's not ideal for wet clutches, but I only use a little bit of it and I will flush the oil immediately after breaking. And here's the cylinder block installed. This was so pretty, I kind of hated to cover it up. The next thing I did was a little bit of mild head porting. The left side is done. You can see I've taken out the casting marks and sharpened that septum in the middle like a blade. I had just started on the right side and you can see how I'm smoothing the roof transition to the valve pocket. I tuned the ports by blowing into them like a bottle and making sure that they were the same note. Next I did a little math and got the stuff out and did the valve clearances. Now for the carburetor. When I bought the bike, it came with an all balls racing carburetor rebuild kit and I contacted Six Sigma Racing, emailed him my specs and elevation and he put me together a jet kit. And I have to say, dude must know his shit because it started right up. Excellent throttle response, no dead spots. Here's one carb done. Here's a closer look at the jets. 
It's a 40 idle jet and a 117.5 main jet. And here they are back together with all the new hardware. The last thing to do was to pull the caps, raise the needles by two washers, and drill an extra vacuum hole in the slide diaphragms using the drill bit supplied with the jet kit. Then finally completed with a set of pod filters. I ordered an OEM Kawasaki head gasket from Partzilla, threw it all together with a stainless muffler and mid pipe, added a set of pod style crankcase and valve cover filters, and it was time for first startup. Listen for how it sounds kind of weak, like it's running lean, and you'll see a little bit of oil smoke. That's because the rings haven't seated yet. What I will do is let it idle, burp in the throttle every 10 or 15 seconds until it reaches operating temperature, then I will cut it off and let it cool completely. Now after one heat cycle, the smoke is basically gone and throttle response is fantastic. It's ready to ride. I was easy on it for like the first 15 or 20 seconds just to make sure that it was okay. But regardless of what people say, you really want to give her hell pretty quick. If your cylinders glaze over before the rings seat in, it will never happen. So on the way back, I gave her the boots. Well guys, that just about does it for this video. After those half and quarter throttle rips, it's ready to change the oil, put the plastics back on, put the tank on, and it's a good bike. I've put a mile on it since then, and it just seems to be getting stronger. If you found this educational or entertaining in any way, hit that like button and maybe subscribe. Till next time!